Hello gorgeous Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. This one definitely wants to come out for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you and Spirit does want to bring through a message direct for you to help you in a situation, to bring some guidance, to bring answers. So keep your mind and your heart open throughout the reading. Let's take a look at this card here that's flipped out for you. And it is, this is a day of completion. So this week there is going to be a completion. There's going to be a finalization. There's going to be a wrapping up of something, wrapping up of energies, a, um, coming to the end of the line with something, a completion will take place. I know and affirm that I am one with the infinite power. Everything in my life falls into place easily and effortlessly. Beautiful. So this is actually confirming that you're going to have a week that's restful, a week that there is not much stress, a week where you have a greater understanding of peace in your life, which is beautiful. You are connected more totally with God, source energy, the infinite power. And because you are, the, the things in your life seem to fall into place. And this is a blessing. This is a beautiful blessing, Pisces. I give over my problems and sleep peacefully. Beautiful. So any insomnia or any uh, late nights unable to get to sleep, you're going to be able to turn that pattern around. You're going to be able to sleep peacefully and without worry. Beautiful. I release my fears and problems. I feel only peace in my mind and body as I drift off to sleep. So this card is speaking to those of you who have trouble getting to sleep or sleeping and it's become a habit uh, of um, discomfort for you. So this energy is powerful because Spirit is saying that this will be released, this will be resolved, there is a new energy on the way when it comes to sleep, patterns of discomfort in this way. So that's a beautiful sign. And forgiveness is a gift to myself. So forgiveness in some way, shape or form is important this week. You may need to forgive someone this week. It may be on the spot uh, where you can easily give that forgiveness. But perhaps this is more of a long-standing thing where you're needing to give forgiveness to someone who has been difficult, someone who has hurt you where there's pain associated with this relationship for some time. Forgiving frees me from the past and allows me to live in the present. When I forgive myself and others, I am free. So really powerful energy of forgiveness. Spirit is encouraging you to do this, to look at the relationships or the dynamics that um, are affecting you in this way. So you can be released from the past and not held in chains anymore by this person or by these circumstances. It's a gift to yourself, really. That's what it is. Let's see what spirit would like to reveal Pisces with this deck of cards. Guidance. Guidance, please, spirit. Three cards here for Pisces. For Pisces, please, spirit. Three cards. All right, let's take a look at what they are. Give thanks for the curiosity that stretches you, the imagination that frees you, and the creativity that connects you to the soul of another and more deeply to your own. So I'm being drawn to creativity. I'm feeling that you want this in your life. You want more creativity or you know that you haven't been giving yourself the space to allow creativity and this energy to flourish 
And so this week you'll be able to do that. You'll put yourself in a different place, a different position where you'll be able to take stock of where you're at and there's a free energy here. So it will give you more freedom to think creatively or to uh, be artistic in some way. Express yourself by doing the things that you love. It's a beautiful energy. I love it. Beautiful. Miracles happen when you draw upon the power of your mind, the hope in your heart and the strength of your soul. So this is beautiful, of course, Pisces, because it's a it's a card of miracles. So I do feel that you are going to have a miracle happen. It is connected into this energy, though, giving yourself space to free yourself to for creative thought, for creative process, doing something that stretches you a little bit, reaching into the unknown, looking um, at doing something that is outside your comfort zone a little bit, perhaps. But that's where this miracle is going to show up. It is going to be a surprise energy. It feels like you're not fully expecting it or yeah, that's what it feels like. You're not fully expecting this energy of openness to these things. You're not fully expecting that. And, and that's what the miracle is. It's going to just uh, come in out of the blue. It'll just land in your lap, on your doorstep. Um, you've got to open that door, though. You know, you've got to allow the energy fully in. But it will be a surprise. So that's a beautiful thing, Pisces. Let's take a look at this card and the message. If you try, you can learn, you can grow, you can smile, you can soar. About effort. This energy is about effort. If you try, you just need to take that first step, perhaps. Try something new. Try something new. If you try, you're going to have a payoff. You're going to have something new into your life which it wouldn't have entered before that's what spirit is saying to me so it will open up new doors and opportunities for you if you decide to give something a try this week that you haven't before very interesting pisces all right let's see what this deck of card reveals for you and two more cards and this one here. All right, let's take a look. You have been blessed with the opportunity to renew love, nurture it so it may blossom in you. Beautiful. You have been blessed. Yeah, you have been blessed, Pisces. Not only with a renewal of love, although it will be for some of you, but for others, it's going to be a renewal of Renewal of this, I'm still getting drawn here to this creativity, to this, to your imagination being able to stretch beyond what you can see right now, to what frees you, to what, um, uh, to what your dreams are, to kind of go to the next level with something, to go deep within perhaps in terms of uh, contacting your true authentic self, you know, on that level. So this week is a blessing in that way. There's a strong energy supporting it. Nurture it so it may blossom in you. Yeah, I love it. Success and creative ambition is the energy that surrounds you now. Make the most of it. Yeah, that's what I've been that's what I've been feeling with this reading Pisces. It's about creativity, creative ambition. That's the energy. And it's a, about some kind of success in this way. And that may be personal success. Perhaps you've been wanting to do something, try something for a while. Um, you have been wanting to try something for a while because we have that card coming up. So whatever this is for you, now's the time to go for it. Now is the time for security, strength and stability. You will meet someone who will help to show you that these qualities lie within yourself. So you will be showing these qualities in another person and you'll recognize them within you. Strength, stability, or someone's going to be helping you bring those elements into your life. I'm also receiving that message, Pisces. Someone will be helping you, whether it's your partner, might be someone in business, might be 
a friend or a family member, someone in your community, going to be different for everybody, but they're going to be helping you bring these elements into your into your life in some way. Perhaps you need more stability with work or in your in your personal life somehow. But that's um that's the message I'm receiving there. Okay, so three cards from this deck for you, uh, Pisces. So let's see. My lush and comforting home is my haven and sanctuary. So you, you might feel that you want to be at home. So even if you are out of home or you're, uh, say, uh, at work or you're away in away from, from your home, you've, you've gone away for work or for um, a holiday or something like this, um, you there there's a there's a longing for home there's a desire to be there's a, a desire to be at home um you may find that you're creating a sanctuary in your home or your house or where you live there's um yeah there's a beauty that you are bringing to uh to your space yeah it's beautiful pisces i love it Life wants me to enjoy all the happiness, joy, and bliss imaginable. Yes, Pisces. Spirit wants you to enjoy happiness, joy, and bliss. That's on the way. You can allow this energy into your life right now. It's come up on the cards, so it's right there for the taking. But it's about opening up, having an intention of focus on these things. Where your attention goes energy flows and it will come back to you that's how it works i am the conscious passionate co-creator of my life yes pisces you are and uh, this ties in really lovely with the creative endeavor energy that has come up in this read for you if you're conscious about it you're a co-creator in your life you can change things if you want to. You can open up to new possibilities. You can have that creative flair. You can go to that next level. You can be reflective. You can manifest what it is that you need. Okay, let's see what this deck guidance for Pisces. Let's take a look at this center card here, the Empress, which is the mother archetype. So you may have a mothering influence in your life or a communication with your mother or grandmother or someone that's in this energy that represents this energy for you. Um, there'll be communication there, whether this person is alive or is passed over. There's a connection that's very strong and messages that will come through either way. The Empress energy is about growth and development and nurturing. And so you may find that you're wanting to nurture um, an area of your life, a, a, a special thing in your life you're wanting to nurture here with the Empress. And it's a very powerful card. So it looks like you're going to have success with what it is that you are raising, that you are nurturing. The chariot, you are raring to get going with something here. The chariot is about taking back the reins. It's about taking control of a situation where um, things have perhaps been out of your control in some way. It's about you getting back in the driver's seat. It's about willpower. It's about willpower. And the chariot, the, you, there's, a, there's a driving force here with the chariot that I'm seeing with you Pisces right now. Or well, that's going to be reinvigorated if you haven't been feeling this recently. Justice. This is Libra's card. This is Libra's card. So you may have a Libra around you significant in some way. Um, justice. Now, anything to do with the courts, lawyers, judges, decisions, judgments, fairness, things coming into balance. Perhaps your own... Life in some way needs to come into balance, Pisces. You'll know if that's true. That's what justice is about. And if any unfairness or, or injustice has happened, 
when justice is there and comes up in a reading, if something like that has happened to you, it looks like there's going to be a resolution of that in time in some way, um, which is a good thing, of course. And the Nine of Cups, a beautiful wish card. So yes, um, a beautiful week ahead. The energies are very supportive of a great week. A wish come true. This is a you being very satisfied emotionally with how things are going or how the week is going um, and what you create and manifest in your life. It's beautiful. And the star, wow. Okay, another beautiful positive card. It means that this week you're going to be on on point, on purpose with your destiny, with your with your inner light, with your true purpose. So we're talking about the higher planes here. You're going to be on on point with that. You may even there may even be a, a major reveal spiritually. So an inspiration, a divine idea. Um, may come through as a creative thought, um, something like this. That, that's, that's the star energy. It's Aquarius energy, of course. So you may have an Aquarius. It's just a, a beautiful energy, um, a beautiful energy, beautiful set of cards here for you, Pisces. So look forward to this energy, this beautiful star shining upon you. And the star is also healing. So you may have a um, a healing or a healing for yourself or a healing for others that may take place also um, or a healing energy that uh, you're working with in some way. Beautiful energy Pisces. I hope the reading has been helpful for you and the spirit has come through and touched your heart and has provided some guidance for you and your life. If you did like the reading you can click the like button um, or you can subscribe to the channel if you would like to follow me, if you'd like to receive notification of when readings are released. And thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is such a huge help. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so very much. Thank you for supporting me, supporting my channel and supporting my work. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic week, Pisces, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.